What's going on everyone? I'm Wayne Grayson. You're watching Equipment World and today we're going to discuss an equipment type and a manufacturer that are a little bit different than the machines that we typically discuss on this channel. This is the Avant 635. It's essentially a compact or mini wheel loader depending on which of those that you like to use to refer to these machines, but it's powered by a 26 horsepower engine. So right off the bat, I mean really though, the looks of this machine alone are kind of enough to make you stop and wonder what the heck it is. But right off the bat, it's pretty clear that this is not your typical compact wheel loader, right? And look, maybe you're aware of Avant. Maybe you've seen these machines before, whether it be in passing at a trade show maybe you have seen them working uh, at a local job site in your town but today we're going to do a deep dive on Avant and this relatively new machine category that this company which is called Avant Techno has created it originated in Europe but it is now quickly gaining popularity and momentum here in North America as well so let's get into it I mean, for starters, the Avant 635 is not just compact, it's tiny. It weighs 3,500 pounds. Now compare that to a traditional compact wheel loader, the smallest of which weigh in usually somewhere between nine and 10,000 pounds. Now Avant does have larger machines in its lineup, but none of them are heavier than 5,600 pounds. So just in terms of size and weight alone, you're already dealing with a very different machine than what are typically called compact wheel loaders. And those are just the surface differences. Now we're gonna highlight a couple of specific Avant loader models, including the newest and largest of the bunch, the 860i. But first let's talk about the entire Avant wheel loader lineup and what makes these little loaders so special. To begin with, what should you call them? Well, what does Avant call them? Now on their website, Avant refers to these machines as wheel loaders or loaders. And really that's that's exactly what they are. I mean, at their, at their foundation, they're still just wheel loaders. But in my conversations with people at Avant, I've heard the term multi-tool articulated loader used to describe them. And to me, that really makes the most sense in terms of a title for this emerging machine category that we're seeing, because it really kind of keys in on the things specifically that Avant believes makes these machines so useful. From that term, multi-tool articulated loaders, we're gonna start with articulation. Now, as their size suggests, Avant Avant's loader lineup is really aimed at smaller tasks. Tight job sites, indoor job sites, you get the picture. And while these loaders are small and light to begin with and thus very maneuverable, that articulated joint makes them even more maneuverable. Now, an important distinction to make is that while these loaders do articulate, they don't oscillate or kind of roll at that articulation joint. As you can see, while the machine is articulating on a slope, both the front and rear portions remain at the same angle. And that's because another important design factor for Avant is stability. And boy, are these things ever stable. Check out this footage we shot during Con Expo of a machine demo at the Avant booth. Now, beyond the absence of oscillation, the other primary reason that these loaders are so stable is that they have a really low center of gravity. And as Avant's Matt Jark told me while we were talking at Con Expo earlier this year, 70% of the total machine weight in these loaders is located in that rear portion. Now, with the drive motors, the engine, the transmission, all of that located below and behind the operator, the machines stay really well balanced, even when they're carrying a load while traversing a slope. Now, the other half of that that multi-tool articulating loader description that we mentioned earlier obviously is the multi-tool part. And that refers to the vast amount of attachments that Avant currently offers for these loaders. The company currently offers 200 attachments for these loaders. And that attachment lineup includes a lot of the things you'd expect like buckets and forks and brooms. But there are more advanced work tools available as well for these machines, some of which we're now quite used to seeing on skid steers and compact track loaders like trenchers and backhoes and concrete mixers, snow plows and snow blowers, several different types of mowers. I mean, really take your pick, sidearm and flail mowers. And then there's lawn aerators, rippers and breakers. And then there are some attachments that are meant for specific jobs like a bale splitter or an ice rink scraper Blade. And then there are some very specific attachments like the beehive mover. 
Avant even makes a rotator fitting that allows you to rotate attachments for even more versatility. And they offer power tools that interface with their hydraulic system. Now, another aspect of these loaders that Avant capitalizes on with the attachments that they offer is these machines pushing and pulling power. Avant Techno offers a hydraulic rear hitch for towing, and it offers both a ball hitch and a three-point hitch adapter for placement on the front of these machines. Now, with that front hitch, you can push or pull trailers around, and with that three-point adapter, you can pull farm tools and even lift them. Now, a couple more notes on these attachments. Though Avant offers 200 of them, not all of these attachments are gonna be compatible with every machine. So, depending on the loader you have, that will determine what attachments you have access to. Plus, all of these are hydraulically powered, and the auxiliary hydraulic flow across the lineup ranges from between 7.9 and 21 gallons per minute. So when you combine the Avant size, its weight, maneuverability, this enormous work tool lineup that you have at your disposal, all of these things add up to a very intriguing alternative to the traditional and larger compact wheel loader, but also to the traditional skid steer or a compact track loader. Now this comparison of the Avant loaders to the traditional skid steer or a compact track loader is especially interesting to me because while when you look at say the skid steer and the Avant loader side by side, I mean, really just kind of like the difference in how they look and how they sit on the ground would, would suggest to you that really the Avant loader is meant for a limited type of work, just kind of based on kind of the looks of it and how we're all used to how a skid steer appears. But really at a core foundational level, they, they really are designed to do the exact same things, except the Avant loader because of its articulation, because of its light weight, and because of all those work tools, theoretically, could help you do a lot more. And the comparison between the Avant loaders and skid steers is especially apt whenever you consider that a huge chunk of the Avant loader lineup has a rated operating capacity that ranges somewhere between 1,000 and 3,000 pounds. However, Avant actually offers up to 4,190 pounds of rated operating capacity when you get to the 860i, the largest loader in its lineup. Now, another machine type that this Avant loader lineup kind of stacks up well with in terms of functionality and capability is the mini skid steer. Now, those machines too, the mini skid steer, are really kind of exploding in popularity among small contractors, farmers, and landscapers because you can hop on and hop off thanks to like the stand-on nature and design of those things. Plus, there's a ton of skid steer and other work tool attachments that you can buy for them, whether you're talking about the ones from Ditch Witch or Kubota or uh, Bobcat. There's just a lot of versatility there. And plus now you've got rated operating capacities of up to 3000 pounds on those mini skid steers. But going back a little bit, if we're just gonna keep the comparison between these Avant loaders and another machine type to the traditional skid steer, another advantage that Avant has in this area is that articulating joint. And Avant says that this virtually guarantees that these machines will not tear up turf. Now, obviously that turf friendliness is going to appeal very much to landscapers, golf courses, uh, municipalities, parks and rec departments, cemeteries. But Avant is aiming this loader lineup and its attachment lineup at a much wider variety of customer than just those who do their work on top of grass. And really those include farmers, it includes construction, it includes demolition, it includes tree removal and snow removal as well. In fact, whenever you look at all of the things that Avant is really bringing to the table here in this new category, it's pretty easy to understand why Bobcat has entered a pair of its own machines into this category, and they're calling them the Bobcat SAL, or Small Articulated Loaders. Now, Avant Techno is based out of Finland, and it only entered the US market less than 10 years ago, back in 2012. Now, I mentioned earlier that I was talking with Matt Jark of Avant US while we were at ConExpo, and he tells me that the company has been growing at a rate between 20 and 25% each year since entering the US market. But even with all of that growth, they're still relatively a small player when it comes to market share here in the US market. So they were pretty flattered when Bobcat, which is the biggest player in the compact equipment market, came out with two of their own kind of multi-tool articulated loaders. Basically, Bobcat's entry into the market with a competitor has convinced Avant that it's making a strong impression here in the US. Now, one final note on the Avant loader lineup as a whole. In terms of what you can expect from a price tag perspective on the loaders that Avant currently offers here in the US, Jark tells us that they range in anywhere from $20,000 to $70,000. So now that we've got a little 
little bit better of a handle on what the Avant loader is and what it's capable of, let's talk about a couple of specific models. We'll start with the Avant 635 that we saw at the beginning of this video. This is a 26 horsepower hydrostatic drive machine powered by a Kubota diesel engine, and it has 2,500 pounds of lift capacity. The lift height on the 635 tops out at just over nine feet, and its top ground speed is nine miles per hour. The 635 has a max breakout force of 2,700 pounds, and like the other two loaders in the Avant 600 series, it has a standard telescoping boom. The Avant 635 also has 17.4 gallons per minute of auxiliary hydraulic flow. Now, if you need more of, well, everything when it comes to the spec sheet, Avant also has the new 860i. Now, this is one of Avant Techno's latest diesel-powered machines that it's selling here in the US, and it is the largest and most powerful in the line. Powered by a 57 horsepower Kohler diesel engine, the 860i weighs in at 5,600 pounds and it has a lift capacity of 4,190 pounds. Now, like the 635, the 860i also has a standard telescoping boom. And in terms of max lift height, you can expect about 11 and a half feet of reach. The top speed with this machine doubles from the 635 to 18.6 miles per hour. In addition to the hundreds of attachments that Avant offers across its loader lineup, the company also offers a ton of options and accessories. Now on both the 635 and the 860i that we have discussed here, you can opt for an enclosed and climate controlled cap, but you can also check boxes for boom float and self-leveling, additional auxiliary hydraulic outlets on the rear and the front, counterweights, tie down brackets, lighting kits, and much more. So yeah, that is the Avant wheel loader lineup. Hopefully we've given you a better idea of just what this machine is and what it's capable of, but we also wanna hear what you guys think. In your mind, where do you see this machine category going in the North American market? Um, are there any specific jobs on your job sites that you think these machines would be a good fit for? In your mind, how well do they stack up to skid steers and mini skid steers for the type of work they're aimed at? So drop us a line in the comments below. We love hearing from you guys. And if you like this video or found the information in it useful to your research for an upcoming machine purchase or or just out of curiosity, uh, do us a favor and hit that like button below. It really helps our channel out. And if you want more videos on the latest in construction equipment, gear, trucks, and more, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and be sure to turn on notifications, and that'll send you up to the minute alerts whenever we drop a new video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate your time and your support, and we will see you next time.